Pretty Little Bakers, Kelly here, and guess what? Maria Menounos is hosting a Sweet 16 for her dog, Baby, and I'm providing the dessert. First of all, a Sweet 16 birthday party for her dog? What? I'm so impressed that Baby has made it to 16. That's fantastic. And second of all, how cute does this doggy party sound? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to be surrounded by all the dogs and the cuddles and the kisses. And third, I am so so honored to be helping out with this party. I can't wait. For this week's PLB treat, we'll be making one of the desserts that I'll be bringing to Baby Sweet 16. We're gonna be making <laughs> Yep, poop cookies. Okay, okay, they're not actually poop but they're chocolate meringue cookies that are in the shape of little doggy doo-doo. These little guys are so freaking cute and adorable. Can poop be adorable? And they taste like chocolate. Ding, ding, ding. Winna, winna, chicken dinner. With Pretty Little Bakers, we like to use minimal ingredients, and that's exactly what this recipe calls for, so let's break it down now. To make little poop cookies, we'll need one third cup of water, three quarters teaspoon of vanilla extract, two thirds cup of sugar, 1 8 teaspoon of salt or a pinch of salt, a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and a few drops of brown food coloring. Yes, the unsweetened cocoa powder does make the meringue brown, but we're gonna use the drops of food coloring to make it a little more brown to look a little bit more like poop. And last but not least, these poop cookies call for two tablespoons of meringue powder. Meringue powder is simply an egg white substitute. Not only does it eliminate the risk of making meringues with raw egg whites, but the eggs used in this powder are pasteurized. Now for the equipment needed. You'll need a stand mixer with a whisk attachment, a baking sheet lined with wax or parchment paper, a spatula, and a decorating bag with a number 12 tip. The first thing we're gonna do is combine our meringue powder, water, and salt into the mixing bowl and mix it on medium speed until it starts to look foamy. While the mixture is still on medium speed, let's slowly add our vanilla extract and gradually add the sugar. You'll wanna turn the mixture on medium high after the sugar is in and let it mix for a few minutes until the mixture looks fluffy and stiff peaks form. Like this. Yay! Now let's add a few drops of brown food coloring and mix it on medium speed. And for the final step, let's add in our cocoa powder to get that chocolate flavor. But watch out, you wanna mix it on slow speed. Trust me, I made that mistake the first time and the chocolate went everywhere. So at this point, slow and steady wins the race. Now that we have our meringue completely mixed in the bowl, we need to scoop it into our piping bag so we can start piping our little poops. Let's take our decorating bag with the number 12 tip, fold down the sides to make it a little bit easier to work with, and use our spatula to scoop our meringue into the bag. Now you wanna squeeze the meringue down to the bottom of the baggie. I like to twist my bag so the meringue doesn't come out of the top. And voila! It's time to start piping our poops! You want to pipe a circle about the size of a quarter onto the parchment paper. And continue piping another layer on top, gradually making your circle smaller and smaller. And add one more layer, make a little swirl at the top, and start letting go. And let's go ahead and make more poop cookies on our baking tray. I'm making mine about an inch and a half apart. Yay, our poop cookies are done! Now let's pop our tray into the oven at 200 degrees for one hour. Once those 60 minutes are up, you're gonna wanna turn off your oven Leave them in there for another 30 minutes while the oven cools down. Then you can take them out and gently remove them from the tray. We just want to make sure the meringue cookies are completely cool. Here are our poop cookies. Now I'm going to let them sit for another couple of minutes until they're completely cooled and then we can indulge. Now that our poop cookies have had plenty of time to cool, we can remove them from the tray and now we can try them. But first, how freaking cute are these guys?
I'm straight up in love with how these poop cookies turned out. Okay, I know I keep saying they're so cute and so adorable, but they're poop cookies, so it's all right. Meringues are fragile cookies, so we need to be very careful when we're removing them from the tray. I already squished two of these. Ooh. Okay, it's my favorite part of the video. Let's try our poop cookies. Cheers. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the chocolate. And it's like they melt in your mouth. Well, I guess that's meringues for you, but it's so good. I'm so excited to see what everyone thinks of these poop cookies at the dog party. If you guys give this poop cookie recipe a try, send me your pictures by tagging Pretty Little Bakers. I love seeing what you have to make. I will gladly repost them, retweet them. I love it. And be sure to follow Pretty Little Bakers on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll be posting lots of pictures of these poop cookies along with the other doggy treats that I bring to Baby Sweet 16 Party on social media, so be sure you're following. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pretty Little Bakers. Enjoy your poop cookies. I'll see y'all next time.